The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Kohanim, the sons of Aaron, and say to them, Let none of you defile himself or a dead person among his people, except for his relative who is close to him, his mother, his father, his son, his daughter, his brother, and for his virgin sister who is close to him, who is not yet with the man for her, he shall defile himself. But a husband shall not defile himself for a wife who caused his desecration while she is among his people. She shall not make bald patches on their heads, nor shall they shave the edge of their beard, nor shall they make cuts in their flesh. They shall be holy to their God, and they shall not desecrate their God's name, for they offer up the fire offerings of the Lord, the food offerings of their God, so they shall be holy. They shall not marry a woman who is a prostitute or who is desecrated, and they shall not marry a woman who is divorced from her husband. For he, the Kohen, is true, is holy to his God. You shall sanctify him. For he offers up the food offering of your God. He shall be holy to you. For I, the Lord, who sanctifies you, am holy. If a Kohen's daughter becomes desecrated through adultery, she desecrates her father. She shall be burned in fire. And the Kohen who is elevated above his brothers, above whose head the anointment oil has been poured, or who has been inaugurated to wear the garments, he shall not leave his hair unshorn or rend his garments. He shall not come upon any dead bodies. He shall not defile himself or his father or his mother. He shall not leave the sanctuary, and he will not desecrate the holy things of his God. For the crown of his God's anointing oil is upon him. I am the Lord. He shall marry a woman in her virgin state, a widow, a divorcee, a woman who is desecrated, or a prostitute. He shall not marry any of these. Only a virgin of his people may he take as a wife. He shall not desecrate his offspring among his people, for I am the Lord who sanctifies him. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron, saying, Any man among your offspring throughout their generations who has a defect shall not come near to offer up his God's food. For any man who has a defect should not approach. A blind man or a lame one or one with a sunken nose or with mismatching limbs or a man who has a broken leg or a broken arm or one with long eyebrows or a cataract or a cummingling in his eye, dry lesions or weeping sores or one with crushed testicles. Any man among Aaron, the Cohen's offspring, who has a defect, shall not draw near to offer up the Lord's fire offerings. There is a defect in him. He shall not draw near to offer up his God's food. His God's food from the most holy and from the holy ones he may eat. But he shall not come to the dividing curtain, nor shall he draw near to the altar, for he has a defect. He shall not desecrate my holy things, for I am the Lord who sanctifies them. Moses told this to Aaron and his sons, and to all of the children of Israel.